Hey guys, don't these look like ingredients for fun and science? That's right, we're going to be testing these supposedly rust proof steels today, H1 and LC200N. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the knife into this lemon and also um, soak it in this um, water which I will make salty. So that is some salty water there right now. So, first of all, we'll be poking it into the lemons. We'll go with a H1 Spider Coast salt. There we go. And then a quick dip in the salty water. Then we've got the LC200 in into the lemon. Yeah. All the way in. And then a dip into the salty water. And then we've got a 420HC Leatherman Surge Blade. So this is kind of your more standard stainless control knife, I guess. We'll see if this rusts at all. If we go straight into the lemon, yeah. And then a dip into the salty water. Yeah, the salty water is definitely not washing off the lemon entirely because it still stinks of lemon. And then lastly, the, uh, the um, patsy for this test is the Open L in carbon steel. Now I've um, sanded this one back so it's got a nice shiny polish. All the rust that was on it, uh, or patina that was on it is gone. So let's get this into there. One through, and then a dip into the salty water. Alrighty, so I'll line these up. And with the help of old mate GoPro, we'll be able to time lapse this bad boy and uh, see how they look. That one on. And that one off. Alrighty, some time has passed, I would say about three hours. Uh, let's uh, have a look. I'll go and uh, wash these off just under some hot running water and uh, see the state of the blades. Alrighty, first up is the Spyderco Dragonfly in H1. Absolutely fine. No worries whatsoever. That is just yeah, fingerprint schmutz. Absolutely pristine. Second is the LC200N, just a bit of water, wiped, uh, a bit of warm water and then wiping it off with the towel. All the only tarnishes are still just the work sharp scratches from when I put the work sharp edge on it for my cutting test. Have to sand those off one day. So looking at the Leatherman here, looks pretty good um, straight off. There is some rust spotting that has happened. Uh, where are we? Let's move it closer, closer. You can see the little brown dots that have appeared. They weren't there before. Rust tends to do that way. I do like that. I'm not sure if it's a, um, because it's not a powdered steel, it's not uniform. It seems to just happen in little spots and then those little spots become bigger spots over time. So you're not too dramatic though, by all means, and still obviously a stain less steel, but obviously not as stain proof as perhaps these ones are. And now let's move on to the poor old open L. So, the open L has got some pretty nasty looking uh, rust developing. That's not that's not even a patina. That's that's rusty in there, like in the deeper parts. Those dots. Um, patina is this lighter stuff here. The rust is the <laughs> deep old dots there. 
no good at all. But it's carbon steel, so that's what it'll do. And there we are. Anyway, guys, a bit of uh, backyard science there for you, if you're interested. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.